Hello guys, this is uh, Delanation and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Android X86 on uh, VirtualBox. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go on to the VirtualBox website. So we're going to type virtualbox.org. Then uh, on the website, we're going to go on the download section. Uh, on the download section, because I'm running uh, Windows, so I will choose uh, Windows Host. And then on the Windows Host, I will go on the right side and then click here, then download the file there. So I won't do it because I have it installed. You're just going to execute the exe that will be um, that will be that will come on the installation. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go on. We're going to type Android uh, Dash x86.org and we press enter there we're going to go on the left side again and look for the download link so on the download link we're going to get another page and scroll down to the bottom of the page we're going to see a section say saying stable release as you see so i chose the second one uh, this one um the ee epc.iso one i've chosen it because i am on a notebook and i have like the asus and this one this copy uh it's work fine with me with the internet and stuff so we're going to download this file please remember where you're gonna uh, save this file because we're going to need this iso file for uh the configuration we're going to do next so after done with this uh then we're going to go and install the virtual machine after installing the virtual box you should launch it so you're going to have something like this the first thing we're going to do uh, after a correct installation we're going to create a new machine so uh, for the installation uh, if you have trouble please uh, watch the other video that shows you how to install the virtual box uh, so it won't be a big deal so what we're going to do now it's we're going to click on the new button on the new button we're going to have this option and then click next then we're going to name our our android uh, uh, we i will name it uh, android um, and then where it says uh, operating system i will choose linux where it says version i will take uh, other linux and then I will click on next here where it says memory I'm going to go for 512 MBs click next and then this I will leave the way it is I will click next again this I will leave the way it is I'll click next this I will leave the way it is and then here on the I uh, on the hard disk uh, First, before the hard disk, I have to get a location where I will install, where my, my my virtual desk will be installed on my machine. So you can leave it the way it is, but I will have to put it on the location that I want. I will have it uh, on a specific place on my hard drive. Okay. You don't need to do this, but uh, I will do it because I need it to, 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 to be on the specific space. And then you go at the, at the bottom here and uh, you decide on what size you want your your file to be. So it's recommended to have it a maxi to have it on the maximum of, uh, on uh, eight uh, gigabyte size, but I will have mine on five gigabyte. So. I will go click on next and then I have a summary of what uh, will be created. I will click on create, then create again. So we're going to have this, but uh, before doing any other thing, what we're going to do, uh, our machine, as you see, it's selected, as you see the name there. So we're going to click on settings and the settings. We're going to go uh, on the storage. On the storage we're going to where it says uh, empty we select it and then we go on the attribute then we click on this icon and then on the icon we're going to choose a virtual cd dvd disk remember we have to choose the iso 
file we downloaded from the Android uh, uh, x86 website. So just just you know where yours is. Mine, I know where it is. So it's here. Um, if you don't find yours, just remember where you saved this ISO file from the beginning. And then you come and select it, and then click Open. After clicking Open, it you have to, you'll see that your your disk will be mounted like this. So I will click on OK. After clicking on OK, I will click on Start to power my mach my machine. So I'll click there. This is what we're going to see. So on this uh, list of options, what we're going to do, we're going to go on the last option, say Installation Install Android x86 to the hard disk. So I will click on Enter. Then uh, I will choose the first option, create slash modify partitions. Then here I will use my arrow key. So I will use my right arrow key and go to new. And then I'll press enter. Uh, primary will be selected. Uh, if it's not selected with the arrow key and then press enter to confirm or to, to choose primary. Uh, this uh, size, you just leave it the way it is and then you press enter. And then bootable uh, selected. So if it's not selected, select bootable and then press enter so that uh, the bootable uh, 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 to validate the bootable as on as your flag. So I click and enter. So as you can see, if you look at this table where it says uh, name, you'll see I have SDA1 flags. I have boots parts type. I have primary. FS type, I have Linux. So it should be like this. So uh, after that, you're going to use the arrow key again to navigate. Uh, I'm using the right one to navigate to uh, right this one to write what I've just uh, checked with you. So I will click on enter after selecting right. Then he's going to ask me to confirm, you know, uh, if I want to uh, write the partition table to the disk. I will right i will type yes and then press enter so we have the message that uh, uh, it's uh, creating it so when it's done we're going to have this one again so we're going to uh, use the arrow key again this time but this time we're going to choose uh, quit so we're going to press enter from here uh, we're going to leave it on this first option uh, sda1 linux so we're going to uh select this by just pressing enter and then from here we're going to uh, choose a ext3 and then press enter then from here we're going to leave it the way it is and just leave yes and then select it and say yes to get uh, uh to format this partition uh, this partition and Uh, that's done. So uh, creating a bootloader. Yes, we're going to press enter. And then uh, if we want the file, uh, the system directory as read write, we're going to choose yes option and then press enter. Okay, and then we have this one telling us that Android x86 has been installed successfully. Uh, if you want to run it, uh, we're going to uh, if you want to install like application, we need to have a S, uh, SD card. So we're going to choose this create a fake SD card and press enter. Uh, it's going to give us the size of the SD card. So we're going to uh, leave it as it is on 2 gig. So let's press enter again. So now the SD card uh, is being, uh, it's been created or it is on a creation process, I might say. So uh, it shouldn't taking uh, it shouldn't take long if you have a good uh, machine. Uh, we're going to very we're gonna it's going to end very soon, so we're going to jump on the next step. So we have this option asking us to reboot the machine. So we're going to just uh, confirm it and click uh, click on the enter button. So this is done. But here, when it's, when it's rebooting, so we're not going to do anything here. We're just going to go here on the virtual machine. And then on the virtual machine, we go to uh, 
to, to waste his machine and go down and click on close don't close don't, don't click on shut down or whatever just click on close you're gonna have a message like uh, have it uh, have power off should be selected as you see there so we are gonna click on OK it's gonna shut out it's gonna shut down the the, the, the virtual machine uh, the, the machine that we were working on so we're gonna come back on this main window of our virtual uh, box manager so what we're going to do we're going to go on the settings uh, on the setting what we're going to do we're going to go on the systems on the system and then on the system we're going to look on the right on the right side and then where it says enable abs absolute uh, pointing device we have to disable it or uh, untick it so after that we're going to click on ok and then from here we can uh, start our virtual machine again so Okay, our virtual machine started. Uh, what I want you to do, guys, is to uh, let's try to remove the disk. So we're going to go on device, and then, as you can see, uh, device, DVD, and CD, and then we go to remove disk. We click there. So uh, after that, we're going to go back on the on the menu. And then choose reset um, yes reset so it's gonna reset our virtual machine so we're going to have now the, the bootloader so uh, as you can see we live on the first option so we're going to click on enter Don't worry about the warning that I'm getting there. <laughs> so uh, now Android is lo loading. As you can see, we have uh, Android loading and it's preparing my SD card. So uh, I'm just gonna unlock it and drag this up uh, and try, I will try my internet. So <laughs> let me what am I going to try? Let me try MSN. As you can see, Google search is done. So uh, I am connected. If you if I wasn't connected, I will be getting a message. So to go back, I will use the escape uh, key. Uh, so guys, just remember, if you use the escape key, you will go back to the previous uh, task you were doing. And if you want to get on the console mode, I think it's Alt uh, F1. If you want to get out of the console mode, you also use uh, Alt uh, F7. I'll put it on the, on the description of this video, so you will have an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, from here, we, we can just, because uh, I'm not going to try to install anything um, uh, at the moment, or uh, I will uh, show you uh, that my SD card is created. So, uh, as you can see, we, we, can, we need to go to the settings. Um, there on the settings we scroll down and as uh, we go to the SD card uh, phone uh, storage and then we go in there as you can see there it's giving me the size of that so it uh, it can it, you can see that it's been installed so just just a, a reminder that not all application can be installed so some of this there's a lot of application from the app store that cannot be installed so i think we need a uh, can explain that on another video but some application will will work uh, when trying to to install it on this uh, uh, virtual machine but uh, i will make another video to show uh, the the developers who want to use this uh, virtual machine as the, as an emulator because this is very this is much much faster than the android emulator especially for people who have a uh, slower machine i will um, make a tutorial to show you how to connect this and what setup to to have and uh, they, we, we need to have another adapter that i will show you how to do so that won't be a problem i will um, stop this video here and uh, the next time I, th I will make another video to show you how to fix uh, the resolution if you want a different resolution 
we're gonna make a video for that but for now i will say goodbye so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time